Hey guys, I am just waiting for the mail to get here because I have a ring coming today. This is a really, really special ring. I ordered it about two months ago. It's been on my mind since um, since Cora's passing and I've wanted to get this ring. So we decided to cremate Cora when she passed and I won't get into the reasons why in this video, um, but I do plan to at some point in the future. So we chose to cremate her and after we made that decision, I knew I wanted this ring. I found an Etsy site called Studio Dragonfly 19 and her Etsy site is like, she makes cremation jewelry and cremation urns for pets. And Etsy does not allow items to be sold that are made with human ashes. So I went through her website. She has thousands of gorgeous pieces. So I found this ring and I thought this is absolutely perfect. So we budgeted for it and I finally got to order it at the beginning of September and it was absolutely beautiful. The owner of the business has been in contact with me throughout the process and about a week and a half ago, she sent me a picture of the ring and she just needed my approval before she set the stone. So the stone is made out of resin that she mixes with a little tiny bit of ashes. So I got to choose the color and the ring itself is silver and it's kind of like a vintage style. It's really, really pretty. I ended up choosing red because red was Cora's color. It always was. It looked really good on her. She had um, a few red headbands and those were like some of our favorite ones. And you know, it was always, my, my baby shower was like red themed yeah. and everything about her, um, red was just her color. So I decided to go with red. So that is coming today. It was actually supposed to come this Friday, but um, I decided to just check the tracking today earlier and it says that it's on its way here now. So it said it'll be here between 12.30 and 1.30. So right now it is 11.30. So, okay, come here. Chanel wants me to kiss her forehead. Come here. Mwah. Chanel and I are twinning today. Look at this. Whoa! <laughs> She's so cute. Hi, friends. <laughs> Anyways, so, <sighs> I've already been pretty emotional today just for whatever reason. I don't know how I'm gonna feel when I see the ring. I've seen pictures of it and it is absolutely beautiful, but I don't know what it looks like in person yet. So I will be doing an unboxing video and you guys will see my live reaction. And I have no idea how it's gonna affect me, if I'm gonna be crying or if it's just gonna be like, I'm just gonna be so excited. I really don't know, this is something that, like I've never done this before, so I just, I don't know how it's gonna make me feel. Oh, I feel nervous, honestly. I have, I'm so nervous. Like I've thought about this ever since, ever since we decided that we would be cremating Cora. I feel like with, with a loss, you have a lot of things that you have to take care of. Um, you have to arrange for um, either burial or cremation or both, which we did both, um, or you have to like arrange for a funeral or a memorial or celebration of life, trying to arrange like food and the programs and who's going to be speaking, what you want sung, all those things, and then um, choosing a, a stone for the grave and either designing it or choosing it and then having it placed. There's just a lot, a lot that goes on and this was kind of my last thing that I wanted to do. Um, this is like the very final thing um, as part of that process is to have this ring so I'll have a little bit of Cora with me um, always. And I know it's not actually her, um, but it's a little bit of her ash so that I can keep her really close. So here we go. <laughs> I'm so nervous. It's literally right there. So close. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's coming. <gasps> you guys. Oh my gosh, it's here. My heart is seriously pounding, you guys. I think she just put it in there. Oh my gosh, there it is! Oh my gosh, it's here! Oh. I'm just like calmly walking to my mailbox so that my neighbors don't think I'm a freak. Hey guys, I'm so nervous about this. Okay, here it is. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so nervous. Okay. Okay, it's 
open now. Little polishing cloth. I'm so nervous. Okay, this is the rest of her ashes. in it too. Oh my gosh. It looks even prettier in person. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it'll focus. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty color too. It's like a really deep kind of plummy sort of red that is beautiful oh my goodness wow this is so pretty oh little coral right guys this makes me so happy i have a little piece of her with me i can't even describe how beautiful this is wow this is stunning. I'm still shaking, oh my goodness. Oh, This is exactly what I needed. It's so pretty, you guys. Like, it's like so vintage looking. I'm just looking at the detail on it. It has so much detail. You can kind of see a little bit of it. I'll do a close up later after I'm done filming this. But oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. I can't even, oh my gosh, this is just so beautiful. I can't even describe how I feel right now. Like I feel calm, but I also feel like I am like on the verge of tears. It's final, you know, like everything that I was talking about before planning a funeral and burying her ashes and laying the stone and planting the bush. And now this, this is the very last thing. Like, I don't even know how to describe how I feel. I feel like I'm closing a book. Like this is, this is the end of, of those arrangements and all of that. I didn't even realize how I felt before about feeling like things weren't really complete until now. I mean, I knew I wanted it, but now I'm feeling a certain way and I feel like finally, it's final, like, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> like it all lit up, you know? And there's been a few things, you know, and I feel like, you know, the more I live and the more things that happen in my life and the milestones, it's all gonna feel a little bit like this. But this moment right now, I can't describe how I feel. I wish I didn't have to get a ring to hold her close to me all the time. I. I shouldn't need a ring. She should be here. She would have been five months old two days ago. And instead of taking pictures of her and snuggling her and loving her, I have a ring instead. <gasps> you guys, this is 
is so unfair. I'm glad that I have a ring, you guys. I'm so glad that I have something to hold her close to me all the time. But it's not fair. I don't want this. I want her here. I want her back. But I'll never get her back. Not in this life. <laughs> this ring is so beautiful. Marla, the maker of the ring, if you ever see this video, thank you so much. It is so beautiful. It is absolutely perfect. You did beautiful work. Wow. I thought, you know, maybe if I cried, I would cry because it was so beautiful. I didn't expect these feelings that I'm feeling right now. That was not something that I anticipated at all. Wow. I'm glad that I can share this with you guys. This is so pretty, oh my gosh. I'm never ever taking this off. This is so beautiful, oh my gosh.